Dimensioning holes. We can use the dim diameter command as an alternative to the dim command for dimensioning holes. We're going to come up to annotation here and I can choose the dim diameter command right here or I like to go over the annotate and in the annotate then I come up and I can hit on my uh, dim diameters by coming over here and choosing the down arrow right here and I go to dim diameter. So when I choose dim diameter I can select the circle and then I can drag out and place the location of my uh, leader line and place the dimension line and it puts the uh, diameter symbol phi in front of the diameter and it'll put a center mark in. Now when we're particularly dimensioning holes um, we have the ability to use the dim diameter command and I'm going to come up here and go to dim diameter and I can select on this circle. Now all four of these circles are the same diameter uh, and because of that instead of di uh, dimensioning each one I can go down to the M text option when I click in the M text option you can see here that a little glitch here uh, with this is that it hides down here you can see down here I have the value of the measurement and in front of the Greek letter Phi I got a flashing eye beam so I can type in 4 X I usually go with the capital X and I put a space I like to put two spaces actually in and then I can pick outside of that box and now I end up with I'll come up here I'll, it'll say 4x the diameter and the diameter value and I'll place that leader line location and now it'll say 4x or four times and it gives me the diameter now I don't have to dimension each one of those now a little uh, it did put the center mark in so if I want to add the center mark I can go down to the extended menu in the dimensions panel and I have a center mark command and I come along and I'll place the center mark in and I'll just go up and do that again hit down arrow and put the center mark in okay I can hit the space bar bring up the previous command I'll hit the space bar brings up the previous command now the ASME standard recommends that we put a small space between the object and the extension line and to do that I want to go up into my uh, dimension style manager and I'm using the standard dimension style I want to modify that and I want to come over here to uh, lines and I want to go from offset from the origin and I want to have a value in here such as 0 0.0625 or 0 0.063 if you're going with less uh, precision and that will cause a little gap then now, uh, if I want a dimension over to here, for example, and I'm going to come up here and I'm going to use just the linear dimension. And I'm going to come in here and pick at the end of this extension line, this little center mark rather. And now I'm going to come over here and do a shift right click and I'll say perpendicular. I want to measure the distance perpendicular to this line. And then I'll just drag it up and I'll place it. Now it'll put that little gap in here right here and the ASME recommends that we put that little visible gap in there uh, as an acceptable uh, value for that so we're dimensioning holes uh, we can use the dim diameter command uh, which is located right here uh, we also recommend if you have multiple holes not to dimension each one we'll put a 4x or a 2x if there's only two holes or 6x if there's six holes and also we want a visible gap between the center mark and our extension lines of our dimensions.